Good morning, guys. How's it going? I hope everyone's doing right. I hope everyone's enjoying their weekend. Today, I have a very exciting video. I want to fix one problem that I think the car has from the factory. A lot of you guys might guess what it is. And then I want to change something. I want to personalize the car a little bit. So without further ado, I have this right here. And you guys can tell this is the Steeda or the S550 replacement clutch uh, spring, if this can focus. But anyway, it's, it's something like this. It, all it does is replace the clutch spring, which I'll show you exactly where it's at. What is that noise? That's so crazy. Um, but yeah, all it does is replace the clutch spring and that's it. The reason why I want to do this is because the OEM clutch spring is about 185 pounds of pressure and it's a very, it's, it's not linear. So what happens is you're at the bottom of the clutch pedal and then eventually you go up, you go up, it catches and then it kind of pushes your foot off of it. You have to like kind of balance it and finagle it to get the, the perfect the shift. So that's very interesting. And also I'm personally, I'm not the best driver when it comes to manuals. So I'm still working on improving my shifts when it goes from first to second and second to third and so on. Uh, I actually don't have a hard time going off the line. I have a harder time going from second to third. Could be because of this MT82 transmission, I don't know yet, but it's kind of putting a da uh, damper on my uh, uh, manual driving skill. So I'm hoping this might fix some of that. And lastly, another thing I want to do is I made an order with uh, zombie stickers and this is what i got i got the the lighter green and also the darker green uh puddle lights so i'm very interested to see how the pony would actually look on the ground i want it to match i believe this darker green will match the color if you guys can see the color of the car a little bit better uh this darker green is going to match that so i want to i want to see how it's going to look on the ground as well so i'm very excited to try this uh it's zombie stickers it's from the mustang g6 forums i believe i'll post a link to his post but it's quick shipping and these are cheap these were i believe they were like two or three bucks and i didn't pay any shipping so this was awesome so i'm excited to see this again no promotion no advertising whatsoever for these guys it's just something i want to do to the car and i think it's going to look really good it's going to match it's going to match this this paint job on this car <laughs> By the way, let me show you what the car looks like. I'm gonna give you a quick uh, run around the car before I start installing the, the clutch spring. I wanna show you what the car looks like with the ceramic coat uh, being done now and the car being washed once uh, and also how the springs look. They, they're starting to settle a little bit better so the look looks amazing. As you guys can tell, the ceramic coating is coming out very, very well. I mean, the car looks clean. Obviously some spots that I missed or when I was driving, some spots that came out. And this is what it looks like with the springs and you guys can see it's starting to settle a little bit better so i'm excited about that uh white line told me drive it for a little bit longer but before you guys can see i could have fit both my fingers comfortably now it's more like a finger and a half that fits so i believe another 200 miles or so and the car is really gonna settle same thing with the front so it looks very nice i'm i'm very excited how this car is turning out it looks gorgeous but again this is what the car looks like so let's get going with the installation. So here's what you guys would need for the installation. I recommend a flashlight, a flathead screwdriver, maybe to finagle the spring out a little bit, pliers, or uh, these are self-locking pliers. Um, so this will help you kind of keep the tension without having to use an arm to squeeze anything, and the spring. So what I'm gonna try to do is show you guys as best as I can. I have a really bright, bright flashlight. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys where the spring is at and uh, what it looks like and what you guys will have to do. Uh, eventually I'll have to put you guys down because I really have only two hands and I can't record this It's kind of like a weird angle as you guys can see there's not a lot of space I'm not a small guy as well, so it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to fit uh, One thing I, I did is move the seat back and also I'm gonna adjust the steering wheel probably move the steering wheel up a little bit But actually I have it at the highest setting, so that's not gonna work for me But let me show you what it, what it looks like what the spring is so if you guys can see the spring is right over here um, Here's the perch. There's some grease and the, the top part is also, uh, the spring is up there. So what you have to do is honestly, you have to compress the pedal. You have to compress the pedal down. And then once you compress the pedal down, it's gonna put some uh, pressure or some tension on the spring, because it's gonna expand it. Uh, once it does that, uh, you have to use the pliers to compress it. And once you compress it, you can use a flathead screwdriver, put it in here, and then just like kind of finagle the bottom part out. You have to remove the bottom part first, uh, once you install the other spring, I'll show you what to do. There's a little trick that makes it a little bit easier. So let me get working on that. This shouldn't take you a long time, uh, but let me let me see what I can do because uh, I really haven't started trying yet. This is all theory. And in theory, usually things should work perfect. But let me see if I can set you guys up somewhere where you can see. 
All right, guys, so I'm, I'm using my head mount. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but here's the angle. This is the spring. You can see it right there with the light. This is the spring. I need to compress this and remove it from the perch. Obviously, I can't hold the light and press down on the clutch with you know both hands. So I have to put you guys down. Uh, hopefully, you guys can see well. I wish I could actually put, let me see some. Maybe I can put the light here. And that might help a little bit better, but basically you can probably remove it just with your fingers but I want to compress it down so that, that way it will be a little bit easier for me there you go it's a little bit compressed and now you have to do is just pop it out and it shouldn't be too bad here's where the screwdriver might come in help because it will help you remove the spring a little bit better there we go all right guys so I apologize for that the camera fell off but this is basically what the spring looks like and you can see i just used the pliers to compress a little bit it has a lot of grease uh, so be careful with that and then i'm gonna just release the pliers and the spring just falls off so here's the the oem spring here is the cedar spring they're a little bit different so let me take this guy out so here's the difference this is the oem spring and you can see it's it's really hard i'm not a weak guy it's really hard to press this as you can tell this is the uh, steel aftermarket spring and this you can just compress you can see it's just i can almost get it all the way to the bottom so this is 185 uh, pounds i believe of torque or uh, whatever you want to call it resistance this is 35 so that's a huge difference you can see with each hand this is my left hand this is my weak hand I can compress this very well. This, I cannot move at all. Again, you can't compress it. So I'm hoping this will remove some of the inconsistencies or, or not the linear feel of the stock clutch, and this will fix it. So let's find out this spring. I'm just gonna, you know, keep it in case. I have no idea. But anyway, so this is the assembly. Uh, the way to put it back, uh, my suggestion would be if my spring would stay here. My suggestion would be I kind of like the same way you took it out because when it's coming out, see, I did no damage to it. A lot of people say, oh, I break ours. I don't know how you guys are breaking these. These are, they, this shouldn't break. There's no reason why to spend $100 on a whole perch assembly from Steel. There, there's just no reason. Spend, spend 20, spend 20, 21 dollars, whatever it is, plus shipping for this. So you can see, this is almost brand new looking. So my suggestion is when you guys are installing it, because this spring is a lot lighter, a lot easier, put on once you put in the spring put this bottom part in first slide it in and then when this is you can compress the spring by your hand and then put in the top perch so you guys can see this is the assembled portion already i'm gonna get under the car and install it you know what guys i'm gonna put you down it's very uncomfortable for me to uh figure out how to work especially with the camera kind of banging in around and i, I really need to focus and use my both my hands to put it back okay so five minutes later you can see the spring is back installed the strap is not holding my camera very well but you can see the spring is back installed all i have to do again is put in this first left the spring pointing this way put the pedal down and i was able to compress it right into the perch so it feels a lot stiffer i would say so i'm interested to take out the car for a drive and see how it will feel and of course i got grease all over the car it's whatever you know just honest day work And you guys can see someone has partied in my garage, in my worldly garage. Someone has partied. There's Stella cartons, there's beer bottles. So I guess people like to party in my garage. Without me knowing. They should ask for permission, you know? But anyway, let me get to uh, clearing some of the stuff out. And I'm using my GoPro app, hoping you guys can see better what's going on when I'm installing stuff. And I'm also gonna try to finagle this uh, as a point of view driving to make it look better for you guys so you can see it. I might need to use a chest mount so that way you guys can see more of the front instead of like, kind of like this. Uh, I'm not I'm not sure, we'll, we'll find out. Because if I sit out normally, you guys can't see anything. On to the next, let's install the zombie stickers, uh, put a light overlays. 
Uh, they were really nice to include. I asked for uh, two dark green and two light green. They were actually really nice to include four dark uh, green and uh, two light green. Here is their website. You guys can check them out if you want to. And I believe they include, yes, they include some installation instructions. So you have your plastic lens cover, you have your recessed area, and then you have your project lens and the color vinyl and where it should go. So this is very interesting. I can't wait to look down there and see what I can finagle, what can I figure out. I'm gonna use the dark green first, as I said, because that way, if I don't like the dark green, I can switch to light green. If I completely hate the light green, I can go back to the dark green. And this is, this is a cool sticker. I kind of like this. I might put it right here, you know? The car has been zombified, right? You guys can see that, right? Maybe I should put it right here. Uh-oh, it can fall in there. I don't know, maybe I'll put it somewhere where it can sit like that. Zombified car. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. This will be perfect. People have lots of questions when it comes to that. I can just tell them it's my girlfriend. I'm not sure how well she'll like that. So let's start working on this. This should be a pretty simple install. Let me grab an actual towel from the back. I'm trying to get you guys a little bit out of the sun, but it's, it doesn't seem like it's working very well. So I believe these would just go like that, maybe. And then they'll just reflect on the ground because it looks like, yeah, it looks like they just go like this. Because there's the inlight. So from their instructions, these look like to, to fit just like that, which is super simple. It kind of like uh, follows this area. However, I'm not sure if you press on it. Yeah, it would just go like that. So it can distort, so it can change the light. I'm gonna use the light to guide me because that's the end goal is we're trying to cover the light. So just the reflection of the light. So you guys won't be able to see them now because it's it's light out. But when we go inside the, the, the parking garage, the public parking garage here, you'll be able to see them. And I'm gonna try to put this one differently. The reason why is the other one is just kind of like hanging. I think this one can go inside the lens. Oh guys, I messed it. I messed up the other one. So that's good that they gave me an extra. So I messed up the other side, I'll have to go fix it. But what, what you actually have to do is, and sorry, the sun's coming out. But what you have to do for this is there's a little groove and just follow this groove. So put it on the sticker, put it on the, the light here and then just like follow the groove and it fits perfectly. It's not this way, I put it the opposite way. So I apologize about that guys. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the other one as soon as I get this one super sticky to make sure it doesn't get loose. All right, let's go quickly to the other side and let's fix this one. You guys can see how I messed it up. So honestly, you just have to follow Ford's template. And what I mean by that is if you can see, there's a little template here that does the same thing. So this is made to do the same exact thing. So you just put it in the groove, it fits perfectly. And then you kind of like glue it or you stick it. And you can see it follows this template groove. So that was my bad on the first try. I didn't understand it very well. All right, guys, this is as best as I could. I mean, you can see the camera is kind of like on my freaking eyebrows. That's crazy. But I think this is the best you guys can see from my tall ass head, tall ass body, whatever you want to call it. But again, we have zombie stickers. Uh, we have a clutch spring. And this feels very different compared to the stock. This feels super linear. Like I can control where the clutch gets released at what level. Uh, whereas the stock one was kind of like you would start releasing and then it would just like kick you off. This one is super, super linear. So this feels a little bit more stiffer. I'm not sure why or what the reason is, but it feels a lot more linear as well. Let's go for a little drive. I'm excited to see what the clutch feels. Uh, so that way I can tell you guys what I feel personally. And also I want to show you the zombie secrets once we're done. So let's go ahead.
but this clutch spring feels so much better just the shifts alone like the quick shifts are so fast because you can actually it engages properly with the with the previous clutch spring it's a hit or miss especially like third fourth fifth it's a hit or miss but with this spring uh, with this spring specifically it just bites really quickly earlier i tried some shifts between second and third and it just snaps right in place it's just perfect so i don't know why ford decided to not come out with this uh, specific spring or this specific resistance uh, from the factory not sure but they should have it just feels so much better than the oem feel and also let's talk a little bit about the engagement when you're at that stop and you're starting to move it just it's so much it's so much better to uh it can control the the actual car so much better it just feels so much better when the clutch is actually biting it's it's a lot more linear your foot is not being kicked off of the actual clutch pedal it's it's not like you know like releasing and releasing and releasing and then all of a sudden it just like snaps it's it's more of a it's more of like a slow release and gradual release where you can feel it so it feels really good doing that so overall i give thumbs up to the specific clutch spring which is the, the replacement basically the reason why i'm giving it a thumbs up is because it feels great and also it makes it makes driving a little bit more pleasurable or a little bit more uh, it, it makes driving a lot better than the stock the stock portion showing now the actual overlays for the puddle lights which i think they'll look really cool it, it's starting to get a little bit darker outside so i hope it reflects a little bit better i tried doing it after i recorded the installation video of the spring and you could not see anything which is fine i mean that is that is very very understandable so let me show you what the actual overlays look like i'm excited to actually see those so here you go guys this is what the overlays look like I really like it. I think it looks very well. It fits the color of the car as well, which this is what I was going for. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, the installation of the spring and also the little overlays. They're gone right now, but they look really good. I'm really happy that uh, I chose to go that route and the dark green looks perfect. So if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. That means a lot to me. Share this video and please like this video or comment below. It helps the channel grow. It helps people view this video and it helps the video reach other people that may be interested in the same topic. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.